So Wonderful. next we have Common Stack presented by Chris Decoot. Um, common Stack builds common based microeconomies to sustain public goods. So Chris, I'll let you take it away. Yes, thank you. Um, and thank you for having me, Erica. So uh, I will first of all share my screen. If that works, yes, that works. Um, so uh, thank you for having me and thanks everyone for uh, being here. Uh, so I'm Chris, I uh, do communications for uh, the Common Stack. And um, so to dive right in so that we uh, yeah, stay a little bit within the time. So what is the Common Stack? Uh, what we want to do is we want to create sustainable funding and novel coordination techniques for nonprofit causes. So what does that mean? Um, I'm going to focus most of all on the first part today, which is the creating of sustainable funding uh, mechanisms for these causes. So what we're actually doing is we're building a toolkit for uh, communities so that they can design and create their own economy around the value that they create with their uh, organization. So um, how, how is this possible, you might ask, because this is, this is really something novel. Um, you, you probably know what, what is the commons, what is the commons? Um, it's everything that is about the, the shared resources that we have, the air, the rivers, uh, the seas, and nobody really cares about this. So like, how can you how can there be value in this? Well, we know there is value in this. Um, and we've seen this now in the blockchain or just in creation of blockchains with Bitcoin, Ethereum, and so on, um, that there is, uh, that all of these are actually commons. These are shared resources. They just exist and they are sustainable. Uh, so um, one that you might not know, but it's a perfect example, um, Prime Coin it has existed for years and years. And the only thing that this blockchain does actually is it churns out prime numbers and it is an economy. It exists. There are miners. There is everything. There's the entire ecosystem and it is regenerative. It's, it's self-sustaining because people are rewarded because they do this. And we have seen now that like blockchains work like this. It's, it's really interesting and fascinating to see how this has come into existence over the past few years. And so what we want to do with the common stack is we want to bring this uh, from this digital realm into the real world. And the way that we're going to do this is first of all, by focusing on uh, nonprofit organizations uh, on everything that is actually uh, commons, what we call yeah, nonprofits. Uh, who care about commons uh, that are all around us. So we want to create a commons for every public good because so a commons is both the thing, but it's also what we call the organization. Um, and we're going to do this uh, by creating four different layers. So as I said, I'm going to focus uh, most of all on the first element, uh, which is how such an organization can fund itself. But we have a number of other uh, components as well, such uh, that, that focus on like how an organization can do proper governance, be accountable and have uh, feedback and, and constantly improve on themselves. Um, so just FYI, if you might, you might know uh, Giveth, it's one of the co-founders of uh, of the common stack and uh, they this is going to be one component and it's going to be the accountability layer and in the end we want to create this this package that any organization can take and this can be the start of your own commons that you create for any public good so uh, an important thing to say about this is uh, that at the basis of everything we have catcad and catcad is a uh, a tool by Block Science, that's the other co-founder of, uh, of the Common Stack. And CatCAD is uh, just a little bit like AutoCAD. It is used to model and simulate and test everything you build. So we're talking about public infrastructure, so you cannot just build this. And we've seen this a lot happening in blockchain. People just start building. But if you want to build properly, uh, you have to design it first. And so we are not writing one single line of code before we have uh, designed and, design and simulated it. This, and especially because we're talking about the economies, this is super important and also fascinating. So that is what we are doing. That's like the unique thing, uh, definitely about the common stack. So the first component, I will not be able to go into all the detail, but I'll, I'll share some links also and I can answer questions afterwards. But how does this work? How can you create an economy around a cause? 
Um, it all starts with um, a simple community like doing a sort of um, fundraise and they receive a token in return. And part of it goes into collateral and part is used, part is used to fund um, the, the causes of that organization. And what then happens is that you have a bonding curve. And um, I, so a, a very short explanation, if you don't know what a bonding curve is, you can see it as a one-sided market. So what happens often with uh, token creation and ICOs and so on is that, that, that it starts, but there is no market. And the cool thing about a bonding curve is that it's uh, a one-sided market. So the, pl the price is algorithmic algorithmically determined and so you can buy tokens from the bonding curve and you can sell them back into the bonding curve as well and then they're burned so um, in this way it's it's a way to really bootstrap any small organization and as I said we will be starting with nonprofit organizations and in the end you can have this entire ecosystem of uh, a regenerative outside economy and um, the token per price fluctuates uh, because it will be in an open market in the end but at, until a certain point it is actually fixed and that is the thing that is very interesting for people who invest in such comments because they believe in the value. And when your um, community grows and is really doing a good thing, then uh, your economy will grow as well. And so it's in your own interest to make sure that your economy, that your community really is successful. And uh, that's what we wanna do with this. Um, so uh, that is just really in a nutshell, but I said like, if you uh, go to commonstack.org slash ABC, you can uh, read more about how this mechanism actually works. Um, so what will we still be doing in 2020? We've, we now have existed for a year and we've been mostly, and we will continue doing this, we have built the Trusted Seed. And the Trusted Seed is an organization, is, um, is actually, yeah, something that I will go into in a second. Sorry, I was distracted because my battery almost died. Um, but that's, yeah, something I'll go into in a second. We'll be also creating a, um, an MVP so that people can actually see that what we are claiming here actually works. And we've seen that, like, we've been, like, writing a lot over the past year, and we've seen that um, the, the blockchain community, especially the Ethereum community, has already been experimenting a lot with the tools that we're that we want to build and that we already designed and uh, so we're supporting this this research and development that's happening and then next once we start our fundraising we want to build these four layers i mentioned earlier and so the augmented bonding curve is going to be the first one with then um with each uh, um, component and each layer that we're going to build we're going to uh, also launch a field test commons we call it commons that will test out this component and we will be documenting all of this um, so I mentioned the trusted seed. What is this? Well, actually, this could be you. So it is a curated list of um, what we call pro-social um, DAO experts. So people who really believe in the long-term goals of what we want to achieve here and who are not just in there to make a quick profit, but who are like, okay, this is, an, this is a, a, a commons that I believe in. This is something that I want to be in for the long term. Uh, we've seen this with, with Bitcoin, with Ethereum, with some other uh, blockchains as well, but we've also seen some failing at them. And uh, we want to be one of these organizations that really um, starts with a number of experts that believe in us for the long term. And we call them these, this first community, we call them the trusted seed. Um, who is already in there? Well, first of us, first of all, our team. So I'm not going to go into all the detail. But I do want to mention uh, Griff Green. He is um, one of the co-founders of the DAO that you probably know. Um, it is a, it's the DAO is what caused in the end after the hack, uh, Ethereum to split into Ether and uh, ETC. And he's actually also the co-founder of and the founder of uh, the White Hack, uh, the White Hat Hackers Group that recuperated a lot of the hacked funds. And um, so he's the founder of this, and uh, Michael Zargam is the founder of uh, Block Science, who created the CatCAD, the open source tool CatCAD. Um, we have a, a, an incredible team of advisors uh, of uh, a lot of known uh, organizations in, in the crypto space, and we have uh, to mention just one. Simon is actually the creator of bonding curves. Bonding curves are used a lot and they're pretty hot right now in the crypto space and he invented the concept. And so very proud to have him as an advisor. Um, 
So what are we offering with the common stack? Um, so you can, if you make an investment, you can receive uh, C-Stack tokens, which is our proper token. And so you can be one of those people as part of the trusted seed who helps us start one of those field test, field test commons. You, you actually have access to all of them. And there's another number of uh, funder benefits that we can uh, talk about later if needed. And uh, you also have some governance, right? So as I mentioned before, we're really looking for people who are value driven, uh, not just your regular uh, venture capitalist, but really people who believe that this is something that uh, could work and that is important for the world. So uh, if this interests you, uh, you can apply right here. And um, so we are currently, we haven't started our official fundraise right now because we're waiting a little bit for correct market conditions to do that because we're mostly targeting the crypto space. Um, but to build this MVP that I mentioned earlier, we're looking for um, about 100K from um, value aligned uh, partners. So uh, this gives you an overview a little bit of the amounts that we are looking for to build our various layers or various components. And uh, as I said, we can also uh, chat about this more if you want to. And uh, yeah, so if you have any questions, I'll read them here in the chat and uh, you can reach me here as well. Thanks for listening. Awesome. All right, Chris, thanks for that presentation. We do have one question for now from Douglas, uh, one of our panelists, uh, to create a governance modeling system in CAD, CAD to evaluate. Where did you get the data or structure that you build this on? Do you feel this will be accurate for modeling against real world implementation? Yeah, so that is, um, that's a great question. Um, CatCAD modeling is based, so it's, it's created by, the block science team has been working on this, uh, I think now for about three years. And so uh, they are not only engineers, but they're also, um, specialize in everything that has to do with um, how humans actually interact. So they, they, have the, they, have this, they have been studying this for their entire career actually. And um, how, do you get the, how do you get the data? That is something that, um, that we have modeled already and, and we can talk about this later. So I won't explain in all, the, in all detail. I can say something about the structure. And so that is actually our, um, our second component. So I'll, I'll type it in here in a second as well but we call it uh, conviction voting and that is a structure and basically it's actually um, we we say that it's like biomimetically designed so it's like how a human brain functions as well so it's like like your brain fires the neurons fire and you and all these signals are actually captured and have an impact on the entire organism and ecosystem right and so conviction voting works a little bit in the same way uh, it's not just the people who have the majority of the tokens, what co um, counts is like the long term, it's a sort of like signaling that you see of people who are interested in like, hey, this is a proposal, I'm going to put out this proposal and you see all these signals. And the longer that the signals last, the more impact they have, because people will put their tokens behind a specific signal. And like this, you can have and it's also on a decaying curve, uh, I can send you a, a great article that explains it in detail because I'm not the technical person. But um, so all of this is modeled and tested. And uh, it's a, a novel decision making uh, mechanism that we see, especially we so I've, I've been working in the Ethereum space uh, for now three to four years and we see that like um, DAOs um, are not really, um, the, right now you mostly have the system of one token, one vote, and that just doesn't work. Um, and we're taking more of what works in the real world and we're combining it with some of the possibilities of um, blockchain tech. Awesome, thank you, Chris. 